just to follow up, with hospital bed capacity nearing 90% in BC, um, I was wondering how close are we to having to activate the field hospital that was set up at the Vancouver Convention Centre back in the spring? And if we could also please get an answer in French. Yeah, as you know, uh, when we uh, moved into the fall, we had our our scaled up plan for how the acute care system would respond uh, to the second wave uh, of the pandemic, and it did include, of course, uh, still the the potential for the field hospital, and it is ready to go at. Um, at I think we're at 48 hours notice um, and we are maintaining that resource. We're not at the place where we need to do that and we are monitoring around the province making sure that uh, backup where it's needed and as we've talked about it's been a challenge in the north in particular where there's been a number of hospitalizations and part of the plan um, to ensure that we can maintain uh, services as they're needed across the province. Several people were transferred uh, both to Vancouver and and here to Vancouver Island. So there, we are managing, we're coping, but it reminds us again how important it is for all of us to do our piece right now because we are bumping up against that, um, that stretch in our health system, in our public health system. We've flattened our line, but we have not yet come down to the level that we need to. There's still too much transmission in our community and that reflects in outbreaks in our long-term care. It reflects in, in workplaces. It reflects in um, cases that we see in schools. So now is the time that we need, we have vaccine, we have a way that we can see light at the end of this tunnel, particularly to protect those who are most at risk and to take that pressure off our health care system. But it's going to take us weeks to get that vaccine to where it needs to go so that we can breathe a little easier. And right now, I need everybody to keep your gatherings small. Stick with your household. Celebrate and be close to those that you love, that you care about in a virtual way that keeps everybody safe so that they're here to celebrate with you on Family Day, on Easter, next Christmas. And just to put that in context, Tina, last year at this time, the uh, hospital capacity in acute care was uh, just over 104% of capacity. So we were adding new beds at that time. So apples to apples, our base, uh, our base um, is about 88.8 percent, .8%, which is well below where it was this time last year. Obviously, the circumstances are different, um, and our, we also added surge beds. So that means our, we're right now at 69.9 percent of capacity with the beds we've added in our existing healthcare uh, facilities to deal with the situation. And uh, in a, in a, in addition to that, we have the capacity if we need to, and as we showed in March. To lessen other activity in the healthcare system. For example, uh, last week we did uh, for this time of year. Um, I should say the last week, the week ending uh, December the sixth, we did I think 7,300 surgeries, which would be the most we've ever done in that that period at any time. So obviously, if we needed to deal, especially for surgeries that require uh, ICU or ICU backup, we, we would be able to. Um, Limit those numbers if if necessary. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, flexibility in managing the system right now, and our folks are doing a tremendous job. But there's also no question that when you have uh, 40 inpatients, uh, 40, 40 uh, uh, patients with COVID-19 in a hospital such as the University Hospital in Northern BC, it puts stress on the hospital, and we have to mitigate that by finding and. Uh, and opening new wards and dealing with that situation. So, and the final situation, of course, is simply the challenge and the real challenge uh, uh, after basically a year of this to our uh, to our doctors, to our nurses, to our healthcare workers, to our health sciences professionals, who are under tremendous stress. So the issue really isn't the bed capacity. We are fine on bed capacity, as you can see by the numbers. The challenge is the challenge to the people working in acute care and it's real.